Hey guys, Pop Scrap here. Last night I was doing a bit of scrapping out and sorting out a bit of stuff. I'm starting to get a lot of this kind of non fur stuff. When I see as you pick scrap up, as you scrappers know, when you pick up your scrap steel, you'll always get the good stuff. I my boot absolutely wedged. Um, I took this bit out last night to scrap. Um, I have three batteries in it, more a lot of wire, wire on the roll, um, brass. Pots and pans, aluminium, stuff like that. Um, I just sorting through it last night, took some of it out, stripped a little microwave out. Look at all this guy's brass. These are all solid brass hinges. Now, the only thing I have to do, I have to take the bolt out of one of these. But um, it's only a bit of copper in that one. Just, this is what I had been at last night. This weighs a ton, this bucket. All brass, a brass radiator. I just throw it all in his brass, start uh, clean brass, strip it down. These are all brass handles. Have you ever come across these? These are old handles. This is a brass, this is cast aluminium or normal aluminium, and these were brass, the handles. So, yeah, there's a lot of weight in this. I'm trying to get as much weight as possible in it. I have a lot of, um, as you can see, there are end pl wires of pl plugs to strip out. Um, yeah, it's just much weight in one of these buckets. And then I set it off, maybe get about 30 kilos. Just can barely move it in that bucket at a time. And then I get rid of it. I'll fill this one up. About maybe 10 kilos in here already. So you can see all the bits of copper wire and stuff off. Fridges and stuff. I've down the side of my house. Packed um, already. Washing machines, dishwashers. Um, big chop saws with a lot of cast aluminium on them so i'm really really had to catch up tonight now on stuff sort through these two buckets these buckets not um priority but you remember if you're a long subscriber you remember me saying i had 30 buckets of these full and it took me a long time to get through them so i don't want that happening again so i'm just going to try and do a bit of that every night i'm going to bring this out now you see i stripped Three bike rims. Um, I had about another six, but I what I did is I threw them into scrap steel because I don't want the hassle of being way overwhelmed with stuff. Um, I want to have it stripped and get it ready for selling. So that's so all I've left to me scrap steel after selling. Oh god, it's a nice morning. So I'm just getting all ready here. Oh nice, bird shitting. Nice. But anyway, uh, yeah, my motors. Put my alley in. That annoys me now, that. <laughs> really does. What could be doing that? Probably magpies. Plenty of magpies around here. So, yeah, that's all my plan is now. Just tonight, just really. Oh, there it is. I was looking for that, a cup of water that nearly went out. So let's take that off. So, this. Hard to do with one hand. But that's what I do every night, guys. I um, break down stuff and trying to strip, clean my non first Because I'm getting an awful lot of it anymore. And I don't want to like before. So, once I fill a big cup, couple of buckets of copper and, and brass, I just automatically cash it in. Stainless, stainless, lead, brass. Oh. Let's see, put that up. This will be stainless, adding up again nicely. Bit of weight there. So which one is my lead? This is my lead. Lead's hard for me to get. I get a lot of it metal detecting and things like that, but, but yeah, it adds up quick. The weight. And then buckets are very handy to get them from work. Just kind of work. Especially when I want to just cash in a full bucket of that at a time. So if you look, it's a few hundred euros worth. There would be in copper and brass. The way the prices are at the minute. Right. Put two of these together. Do the lazy man's way. 
Oh. Didn't work out right. <laughs> Now, put all the alley in here, is that emptied in, as you can see, wire, bucket, 